position where we can really feel that posterior pelvic floor lengthen where it's really important is a hinge. A lot of us deadlift, we pick up things off the ground all the time and we go into a deadlift during our strength workouts. So thinking about knees soft, allowing the weight to go over to the midfoot and hinging at the hips. So I like to joke with my clients that someone comes and karate chops you at the hips and it kind of sends you back in space. So we have soft knees, weight in the midfoot and sending the hips back. Watching that you don't arch right through here. So we're exhaling ribs back and letting our booty travel back in space. When you reach that point where you feel like you're gonna really arch or tuck, you've kind of reached your sticking point or your end range. So knees soft, midfoot, I'm gonna send my hips back, arms going forward, and I'm gonna gently untuck in the pelvis while the ribs stay back. Gently untuck. I'm gonna breathe in this position. Feeling the air travel back in space. Notice I don't have a huge, really deep deadlift here. I can stay a little bit more upright, but I'm maintaining that hinge position, weight in the midfoot. I can even experiment with foot pressure here. Inhale into the outsides of my feet, exhale kind of more medial middle side. Inhale, more the heel, and then exhale kind of the middle midfoot or uh, medial part of the heel. But ideally, we're not in this tucked under position. So we're freeing the tail, allowing this up, ribs back, watching the head position, reaching and breathing into the backside. That's a great place to practice when you think about the hinge, when you go down into your hinge, you want to be able to feel that length and feel that air travel in to your